Hey everybody and welcome back to another one of Mudflap's movie reviews. My name is Mudflap and today I will be reviewing the finale of the Disney Plus show, Miss Marvel. Let's get started. So we open this episode where Kamala and her friends are running and trying to get away from the Department of Damage Control. They have discovered not only that Kamala has powers, but Cameron has powers as well. So now they're hiding out at the school and are about to have a huge standoff with the DODC. So yeah, overall, I really liked this show so far. I went in not really knowing what to expect. It didn't look like the past Marvel shows that have been, you know, like really, really good. Um, but I always like to give Marvel the benefit of the doubt because they have great writers, they have great actors, they cast people really well. And I just wanted to give it a chance. And I was actually really pleased with how this show wrapped up and how the show has been um, since the first episode aired on June 8th. This episode was just really great. Um, it was a good length uh, for a final episode, and there's a post credit scene, which I'm still processing, and I just don't, I didn't see it coming. I honestly don't really know what it means for the future of the MCU, um, but it definitely was something that, it's definitely going to make Phase 5 of the MCU really interesting. It also ties into Captain Marvel 2, The Marvels, which is coming out sometime next year, so I'm excited to see all three of the Marvels together now. I just really liked how this show started off where we meet Kamala and she was just an ordinary Muslim teenager trying to find a way in the world and she felt like everyone in her life was just pushing her and pressuring her to do everything now and make adult choices now and you gotta figure out what your future is now and she didn't have any time to really enjoy the stuff that she loved. Like hanging out with her friend Bruno. She was a huge Captain Marvel fan. She went to Avengers Con. I mean, she got her ma that magical bracelet. Then she learned more and more about her family history. And through learning about her family history, she, she actually became really, really close with her mom and her dad and everybody else. And she got to meet and she got to hang out with her grandma a little bit and learn more and more of just how special her heritage really is. One of my favorite episodes was actually the last episode, time and again, where we see Kamala go back in the past and see Partition and see her, her grandmother and she actually got to rescue her grandmother and the story that her grandmother tells, you know, the, I followed the lights back until I found my dad. It was just really amazing and really cool that it was actually Kamala. That was actually my favorite episode and it was just really cool to see it was time travel thrown in there and we hadn't seen that kind of power displayed from Kamala yet. I just think it was a really great casting choice, um, casting Iman Vellani as Kamala. I know this show wasn't the most popular among a lot of people. I know, I know they originally, fans were originally making fun of it because they changed Kamala's powers, but like I said it, in, the, when my, in my first review of the first episode, they did a mixture of, you know, the Mr. Fantastic stretchiness and the cosmic power to appease both both sides, I guess. I mean, who really cares if it change your powers or not? Like, it was really fun to watch, and I really enjoyed it. When it comes to comparing it to the MCU shows we've had so far, for me, I put it on the very bottom of my list. Um, when I compare it to, you know, even though it was, even Hawkeye was better. Hawkeye was great, but even Hawkeye was better than Miss Marvel. Miss Marvel was not a bad show by any means. It just wasn't a super strong show and it also didn't really have a lot of characters in there that we're familiar with that we can really resonate with and relate to. If it had like major, more major characters in it, it may have been a lot better because all the other shows we've had so far, we got to have some really sweet cameo appearances. But Miss Marvel, not really, I mean, and she's associated with Captain Marvel and I know a lot of people out there don't like Brie Larson's portrayal of Captain Marvel. I think she's okay. She's not the greatest, but I think that also was the reason why Miss Marvel's show just didn't do as well. It's just because little known characters and it's associated with Captain Marvel and a lot of people just don't. They just don't really like Brie Larson. I enjoyed it. I would definitely say if you haven't seen Miss Marvel yet, I would check it out. Just keep an open mind. I was actually just really entertained by it and I just really enjoyed seeing the Indian culture a little more. I mean, it was a really, it's a really beautiful culture. They showed, you know, their religious beliefs. They showed 
the strong family values and morals and just the fun colorful stuff that um, the Indian culture does. It, it was just really really cool. It's another a first for a Marvel show where we haven't seen you know a specific people group um, really represented this much before. So I hope Marvel keeps doing that because I love it. For this final episode I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 mud flaps. And before you go drop in the comments below are you excited for the sequel to Captain Marvel? And as always, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. And I'll see you next time.